What is going on, people? Welcome to episode 15, after consulting with uh, my folders on my PC. Um, welcome to the Barnsley Career Mode. Yeah, again, recording. I've recorded all four of these episodes back-to-back. -back. I was going to just do three, but penultimate episode of the season. We're in a bad run of form. I want to play myself out of this form, which could be the worst thing that I could do. It could just continue, and we fall out of the top... Four completely well. Top four doesn't matter in the championship. It's top two. We've already managed to play ourselves out of the top two. What I meant is playing ourselves out of the top six. It's improbable but not impossible. Promotion improbable but not impossible. We are four points adrift of Birmingham, who are second, as you can see there. Two points behind Fulham. We checked at the end of the last episode. We checked people's run-ins. I'm not bothered about Sheffield United. They've probably won the league at this point. But Birmingham have got a fairly kind run in. Ours isn't too bad on paper, but of course the funk we're in, who knows. Fulham have got a fairly tough run in. They've got to play Bournemouth who are chasing playoffs and they've got to play Sheffield United. So, could be difficult. We start today with a game against Peterborough who we could well relegate if we win and other results go against them. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. This is the game I want. Like, if you've got... I'm in a funk, I need to get out of it. Swansea, who we played at the end of last episode, were 20th. We scored inside five minutes, everything was looking rosy, and then we threw it away. At home, against Peterborough, this is the game that I want. And I, if I, if it's going to be any time, it's going to be now. This is what we've gone with. We changed the style. We were initially playing with a wide front three. We've made it narrow. It's kind of working, kind of not. Like I'm enjoying having them closer together. The interaction is better. Defensively, it has left us a bit more exposed because Woodrow and uh, it was Carlton Morris who's playing on the left, or I guess left to you guys. Um, there's no one there tracking back, so the fullbacks are a bit more exposed. But hopefully, in these games, it pays off. I'm doing the same as last one. I'm still. <laughs> I'm still in a bad mood. I don't know if you can tell that. I feel like I've hidden that quite well. But I just want to get playing, so let's just get into it. Right, posh team. Christy Pym in goal. Joe Ward at right wing back. Back three, Frankie Kent, Ronnie Edwards, and Mark Beavers. Ronnie Edwards only 61. Seems a bit harsh. He's, well, on foot manager anyway. He's got that bit of potential. Uh, Harrison Burrows, left wing back. Connor Coventry and Sammy Schmodix in midfield. Poku in the number 10. Clark Harris and Ricky J. Jones up front. Posh not playing around with any tricks or whatever at the minute, which is uh, much to... I saw the defender run in, like, into... Okay, we'll take it back. Cheers. Uh, into the line, and I just carried on running into him. Like, I don't know what possessed me to think that was a good idea. It's a great tackle. Apparently not to the referee. We'll take it. Admittedly, I'm not the best here at um, free kicks on this FIFA... Yeah, and it's part of, I mean, keeper saved anyway, but it was going wide. It's a nice crossfield ball into Corley. Oh, it's a solid challenge. And it just, of course it does, just goes out of Ramsey. Oh, no. Helic, he's not the quickest. He's getting there. Oh, what a save from Brad Collins. He just about got something on that to uh, force that over the bar. If... <laughs> If we'd have started losing against Peterborough, I would have been absolutely furious. I'm just, it got to the point now where I'm, because I'm playing on, I'm still angry. That's superb play. Um, I'm, I'm like, I am furious, I'm not going to lie. But, oh, what a save. What a save. Um, but it's at the point now is like, if I don't laugh, I'll cry. And there's nothing wrong with crying when you're a grown man. Of course there's not. But I don't want to cry on YouTube because of something that I've done. Go on! I shouldn't be celebrating that much for a goal against a team that's potentially going to get relegated, but I don't care. What a ball that is from Britain, by the way. Absolute whippage. And of course it's the man that's going to be on the end of it, of anyone. He's just thrown himself at that. And to be fair, there's not a lot the keeper could do at that range. He's just got to make himself big. Luckily, we found the gap. I feel like that's going to be a gif of me, but 
<laughs> I will take it. I, don't, I genuinely feel like crying with happiness now. Right, the commentary is non, non-existent on this video, I realise. And, pro well, very much on the last one. I do apologise, but mood took over. It is very much the same on this one. Emotions are getting the better of me, and it is the the pinnacle of the season, so... <laughs> Uh, I, I do apologise that normal format has not been kept to and the commentary has been um, non-existent but I hope you're feeling the emotions with me and I feel like that's sort of bonding us. Fulham are losing which is good, Chelsea United winning, don't care about them anymore, literally don't care. Birmingham, oh, Birmingham are winning bollocks, they are playing Blackpool though. But yeah, I'll, I mean hopefully when I edit this together it will make some sort of coherent sense but um, yeah. I just, you know, we're, we're on this for the ride. And that right now, this ride has taken a few unexpected and nasty turns. Oh, my God. Oh, it's gone in. Of course it's gone in. Of course it's gone in. The deflection's taken it past Collins. And I said, the ride has got nasty, uh, unexpected turns and twists. And there's another one there. Right, keep your head, lad. Keep your head. Oh, they're tearing us apart. My heart was in my mouth. <laughs> oh, this is horrible. Ricky J. Jones. Schmonix. Oh, he's done him. No. Jonathan Clark Harris. Sorry, I was distracted there by the, uh, the goal scorer. Go, go, Leira Saker. Call, he's there if you need him. Go on, lad. Go on, lad. Go on, lad. Oh, I never really opened up for him. Oh, I was waiting for the space to open up so you get. Oh, yes, tell me, Toby. Oh, mate. Obby. Saker. Leira Saker. No! <laughs> Get away. That to do. Come on, one fight. No! Oh, oh Saker has... He's not cost us it. Because he, he scored our goal, he did. But he's had two golden opportunities to win that game and he's smothered both of them. Chef win. Fulham turned it around. Huddersfield then. Again, doing the same thing. So... They're playing a 5-3-2. Schofield and goal. Gonzalo Avila. Oh, Pippa. It says his name there. Brilliant. I like his name's Gordon, though. Even for a Spanish bloke. Uh, Mo Sharp, Matty Pearson, Levi Cole at the back. Matty Pearson is a decent sign, and I rate him, to be fair. Toffolo at left wing back. Hogg, Sinani, and O'Brien in the middle. Ward and Jordan Rhodes up front. Again, we at these po at this point, we just, if we have any hope, any hope of automatic we need to win all of our games oh no he's got space oh no no oh what a save Collins booking for an earlier tackle not even sure what that is but Matty Pearson in the book <coughs> excuse me Ten minutes before half time, Styles going for the header. Oh my word! And again, it goes for a corner. Styles picking up a bit of a knock there. It looks like he's sort of holding his shoulder. If anything, Helix should win that. Doesn't, although Benson's up for it and he gets there. Saker. Oh my word! Saker. He hasn't got the pace. He has to get away from Pippa. Saker. 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 Come on! He scored it this time. No messing up from Aaron Leia and Saker. He's found that top corner absolutely beautifully. That is what the man can do. Oh, and breathe. It may all be in vain. We may have just collapsed for too long at the completely wrong moment. But if we can build some momentum heading into the playoffs then you never know. We did it via the playoffs in FIFA 21. 
against Derby County, who uh, actually look like they're going to get relegated this time round. Just feed that back into Woodrow. Cross the keeper, 2-0, thank you very much. How do you like that one? We are going to win this game. Toffolo finds out Brian. And well, he's managed to squeeze through the gap, actually. Tries to stand the ball up. Oh, oh. Come on, Collins, man. You can catch that. Oh, he's gone for the front post. Oh, and it's Britain who's kept it out, actually. I think it's Karoma who's had the shot. Lovely ball out to find Callum Britton. Oh, Hawley, that's a nice ball. Isaka. Oh. oh, that was a terrible pass. I don't know why it's hitting first time through balls is so difficult, but for some of these players, well, I think passing for some of these players is really difficult, apparently, but let one more. Isaka. That was <laughs> that was terrible. Could have caught something. They may well still catch us on the counter. It's Sonani with a big burst of pace forward into the area. Ball back. Oh, oh my word! It's on the volley from O'Brien, and actually, Helix stuck out a toe and managed to divert it over the bar. I feel like it could probably have gone in if he hadn't done that. To be honest, although we need to get out to this one. Oh, and Pearson manages to get a shot on the turn. Thankfully for us, it's nowhere near the target. Yeah, that's easy. And we'll take it. And we'll win. Up the boys. Huddersfield gutted. That's what we needed. I don't think it's going to matter too much. I think it's so that unless Birmingham lose their last two games and we win, um, then it's not going to matter. Sheffield won. They must have been at least promoted by now. They're not, although we're... Oh, Birmingham drew, I'm assuming. We're four points adrift with two games to go. Improbable, but not impossible. Right, how, let's see how games went on then. They must have drawn, I guess. So, hang on. Uh, Fulham won. They beat Bournemouth. Birmingham, Millwall got to go back, get in. Right, so... We play Preston, who are 13th. Who is it? Who are they playing? Who are they playing? Fulham, Luton. Uh, Birmingham, Cardiff. Bollocks. Right. If we have any chance of getting automatically promoted, we need both teams to drop points. Because if they both win, and so do we, it's still four with a game left. If they both draw and we win... We go within two points. So it's a lot to ask, but we need both of them to drop points to stand a chance. No, we were never going to talk about your contract situation because you're all freaking sh**. Gotta get swifty. Gotta get swifty in here. Take off your pants and your panties. Shit on the floor. He looks, I'm not going to lie, he looks like a nutcase. Right, this game, I've, I was actually going to do it then. I was going to do this game properly now that I'm sort of a bit more calmed down. But force of habit has taken me here. So, 5-2-1-2 two, two for Preston. Everson in goal. Uh, Vandenberg right wing back, interesting, really. Olesunde, Bauer, Lindsay and Earl complete the back five. Ben Whiteman and Alan Brown in the middle. Dan Johnson, number 10, Maguire, and Kenneth Zahor up front for them. We are unchanged, and we are good to go. And hopefully we can expect a repeat performance. <coughs> Preston 13th in the table, so you'd like to think we can pick up a result against these as well. But again, remember, if we stand any chance of automatic promotion... What was I saying? Where's that come from? I mean, again, Collins, questionable goalkeeper. feel like he could have got there, but... What a start from Preston. 
And they're in again here. Oh, my word. He's only just put it wide as well, Sean Maguire. Let's wake up, boys. Come on. And you've just been... Oh, mate. I'm going to crunch someone in a minute. The anger's coming back. Oh, my crumbs. Right. Let's get a ball, boys. Obby's gone. Let's send him. Keep going. Keep coming. Keep going. You've got... You've got the strength. Obby! Oh! I don't think that this formation is sustainable in the Premier League. Go on, Obby. Go on, Obby. Oh, Sega stopped his run. That's a good tackle anyway, but still. Benson. Oh, but, oh it's a Sega, but it's over. <sighs> yeah, I don't think this formation is sustainable in uh, in the Prem with how sort of isolated our wing backs are getting. Oh, there's a ball on there. Isaka, he's in. Isaka, he buries it. Get in, Aaron. Go on, the boy. Right, we get the ball, we go. Get, get, get. There we go. Right, come on, boys. One more before half time. Let's do it. It's the man. It's a lovely ball from Corley. Let's not forget that. Absolutely superb. And he's managed to stay on side. And he's actually buried it. I would never doubt him before. He's 30 for the season now. Uh, I would never doubt him before. But his recent um, missing of chances has made me question him a little bit. I mean, in, to be fair, in both the games he has scored. Um, but even so, there's chances that he should not be missing. Let's be serious. I think it's just going to be a case now of who are we going to play in the playoffs. It'll be very interesting to see. And Asaka is on it. Oh, again. Oh, hello. Lovely ball. Ramsey. Woodrow. Corley. Come on. I said one more before the break, and that's exactly what we've done. Albeit, fortunately, the ball's fallen to Ramsey, but it's a lovely pass nevertheless. And he's caught up with it. And he's absolutely arrowed it. Preston adventurous in their back through. And it is costing them dearly. And virtually with the last kick of the half. <laughs> Where's that come from? Um, with the last kick of the half. Yeah. We turn this one around. Let's see how everyone's getting on. Fulham drawing. And Birmingham losing. Oh, God. Is there going to be one more twist in the tail yet? One more. Obby. Oh, the fender. He's taken too long to set himself. In the... Yes. Oh, Pavlovich. Uh, interesting. We go out. Karen Brewer. Ball in. Leia. Oh, it's a great save. I said Leia like bloody Star Wars. Oh, he's got all the names to choose from. He's done well to get above his defender, to be fair. Like, we are. The confidence is surging in us now. Oh, pfft. that was far too easy. Hello. Go, Obby. Go on, Obby. Obby. Oh, it's a great save from Everson. He's almost becoming a bit of a meme at this point, I feel like. Right, Benson. Ball in. Asaka. Oh, it doesn't quite reach him. We get the ball back. Styles. Hit it. Callum. Oh, it's a great save. He's one defender that I am confident in hitting one. Oh, it's turn. Oh, it's a lovely ball. Corley. Oh, it's a great save again. Everson being called into action on a number of occasions in the past few minutes. Nice, boys. Nice. Composed. Oh, it's lovely. It's lovely. Corley. Oh, it's too close to the key, but the pressure is mounting. The third goal is coming. Oh, go on. Play him. He's onside, surely. Corley, he's in. Corley Woodrow, he finishes it. Finally. Oh, dear Lord. It's been a mess. But finally it's come. And finally we get the goal that we deserve for all our second half pressure. I thought he'd taken it too close to the keeper again. But Everson could do very little. And Woodrow buries this game. And we just have to hope. We just have to hope. That is one thing I'm enjoying about Obby. 
is that as a stand um, as a stand up is stand I'm just forgetting words at this point I, the first, the word I was thinking about calling is contribution that's just come his hold up play obby that's yeah that's one thing I'm enjoying he's an absolute lump his hold up play has been superb that man by the way this game has been absolutely unbelievable Mikel Anderson Fair play to you. It's not Mikel. Is it Mikel? It's Mads Anderson. I've been calling him Mikel Anderson. We just have to hope. Beyond hope. 11 shots in that game. Uh, didn't see anyone there. Right. What is the league table going to say? Come on. Oh, they did it. We drew Birmingham back, but it's not enough. It's not enough. Oh, after all that season, and we've thrown it away. Oh, so disappointing. I think it's 30 goals for the season as well. Oh, that's so disappointing, but I've only got myself to blame. So we can't get automatically promoted. Birmingham still can, maybe? I mean, they can't... Uh, oh, no. Uh, oh, it's very unlikely. I mean, Fulham have got Sheffield United to play. And Birmingham. Reading have actually got two games. They've got a game in hand, interestingly. Birmingham are playing Blackburn. Who are bloody hell. They're down there. Oh, wow. Peterborough actually overtook uh, Derby. So all three sides relegated. We'll have a look at this at the end of this episode. Well, actually, no. We'll have a season update at the end of the... It's not impossible for Birmingham to turn around that goal difference. Sheffield United have won the title. That's it. that's it. Fulham, if they get beaten at Sheffield United and Birmingham win handedly, then Birmingham still can do it. We can't. We can't be caught by Reading, so we can finish either third or fourth. So the West Brom game is not pointless. I'm still going to play it because we could still finish third. And I think that would be preferable. If I'm going to play Reading in the playoffs, I'd like it to be in the final. So, uh, we have a look at the... I think we've only got, yeah, one player in our youth. And he's not exactly brilliant. But he's, we've had no good youth players come through this season, by the way. None, like, outstanding. So, oh, well. It is what it is. But, yeah. We'll move on to this last game. We'll play the last game. And then it's the playoffs in the next episode at least hopefully two since the West Ham uh, West Brom side it's a West Ham then uh, for the final game of the season Johnson in goal Furlong and Jay Kipri Clark Townsend at the back Mauer and Kitaishvili in the middle Snodgrass Dean Garner up front and Grant okay so the again FIFA still having the thing with the lineups like Sami Amiobi playing CDM unless that's happening in real life and I just don't know then He's always been a winger, and yeah, Carl and Grant surely would be in the middle, and Dean Garner out on the left. Uh, we are the same because we've been having like week breaks between each game now. It's just been the teams has uh, been able to get rest, and we've just been able to play full strength for uh, for the well for each get each game. Sorry, I had a hiccup there. So it will be playoff football for us. To finish the season again, like I was saying, you know, very sort of disappointing giving the start of the season that the hat that we had and how good we were. Moving the difficulty up was always going to be a challenge, of course, and we've gone one nil down to a former Barnsley man as well. Git. Um, I loved Alex Mowat, to be fair, last year. Such a shame how that all ended. With him like getting the season ending injury and then signing for Leeds and then them getting relegated and us getting promoted it was quite funny. Um but yeah, like given how dominant we've been this season and then obviously like I said, you know, moving up the difficulty was always gonna be an adjustment period. Um but you know, it's to be expected, it's taken time to adjust. Oh, why did that take so long? Um so yeah, it is what it is. You know, we've had to. We've, every team throughout the city is very rare that a team will go through a season like unbeaten or only losing very minimal games. 
We've lost a fair few, and like any team, we've had peaks and troughs in form over the season, and unfortunately, the troughs have been very dampening on the league position, the form, and it's taken its toll when Grant's bloody at the post. Um, so, you know, it's just it's just one of those things. It happens in football, we've got to deal with it, and... Um, just just interested to see how long the defence would back off there, to be honest, while I was talking. Um, that was terrible. That was awful. Uh, so, yeah, we've just got to deal with it. Like I said, we did the playoffs last year, of course. We beat Forest in the playoff semis, and we could well face them again. But Birmingham are losing. Of course they are. Um, West Brom are actually in seventh place and can get into the playoffs. They needed to beat us, and they needed Forrest to lose. Now, I don't know who Forrest are playing. That's a lovely ball. Um, I don't know who Forrest are playing, and I don't know... Oh, what a save. Oh, Josh, what are you flinching for? Um, yeah, sorry, I was concentrating there halfway through my story. Um, oh... Um, I can't even remember what I was saying there. Yeah, uh, West Brom could qualify for the playoffs, actually. Oh! Oh, just things just not quite coming off for us in this one so far. Um, so, yeah, but it was Forest we played in the playoff semis last year. We'd managed to navigate them. Um, get in a sake, you absolute sexy git. Um... And then we beat Derby. I think it was 4-0 in the playoff final or something silly. Um, it could be, you know, it could be history repeating. And so, of course, we won't play Derby in the final because they've been relegated this season. Um, but, you know, it um, could well be Forest. I don't know what the... Um, as Derek Ray's just said, actually, Forest have scored in their game. Um, I don't know whether Forest and Reading can swap places. I don't didn't remember that much detail in the table. Um, as it stands, if Birmingham is still losing, we finish third and we do face Forest in the playoffs. If we finish fourth, the likeliness is we would take on Reading. Um, so that's why I wanted to play this game. I felt like it was still important. I wanted to finish the season, you know, with momentum. Um, and finishing third, I think, would be would be good. And plus, it's like reflective of our of how the season has gone, you know. So, just a win would be nice for confidence more than anything. But we've finally played ourselves out of this rut. I knew it would come. Oh, go on, Corley. Oh, what a finish! Well, I said about going to win this game, and well, we've done that. Cert well, actually. Don't I uh, don't we certainly haven't won it, but what two absolute banging finishes, literally. The sake of I mean both one on one, but Corley's got a bit of an angle to deal with there. And he's hit that in the top corner. And we could be in again here, you know, Styles. Oh, I was trying to find Ramsey. You see him there at the bottom of the screen, he'd made a dart towards the back post. But the confidence is coming. But yeah, I was saying, I was, like, I was confident that I would play myself out of this rut. It's always the way with FIFA. And because you just want to, you just you know you've got it in you, so you just want to do it. Like, oh, crikey. Um, so yeah, I knew I had the capability to do it. It was just a case of actually getting that, you know, piece of luck, if you like. Although that is a top finish from Carl and Grant. Good counter-attack. And... Um, Oh, Helix just he allowed him to get the other side. It's a great finish, to be fair. Carlin Grant's top striker. But, oh, that's disappointing. I said we hadn't won it yet, to be fair. It's, oh, nice piece of work from Grant. Oh, that's... Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, you bust. I mean... Oh, I was just singing his praises and he's bloody gone and done that. Couldn't get the ball under control, couldn't get it away. Little step over, away from the defender. He smashed it in near post. I mean, 
again, Brad Collins, you know, questions must be being asked. Like, you can't get beat at your near post, but... Well, how the game has twisted and turned. Saker, he's in. Saker, oh, I was aiming for the par, far post and he's gone near. Johnston equal to it. We've not scored a goal from a corner for a while. Can we get one now? Oh, this is lovely. Oh, Pavlovic is not the man you want on it. No, I wanted that in the gap, you penis. That's going to be that then. Oh, well, we're not going to have time to get this forward. He's giving it away anyway, so it doesn't matter. Oh, that's really disappointing. Fair play to West Brom. They played well in that game. I'm not that annoyed at losing that game because we were competitive. It's just one of those things. But we're in the playoffs. That's all that matters. We're, we're there. We've done it. I mean, fairly equal game. Maybe a winner is a bit harsh, but... Birmingham lost, so we actually go above them, I think, regardless. No. Oh, they're a point. Oh, okay, never mind. So there you go. That's, um, that's the season. So we we're in the playoffs and we do take on Forest, although they managed to leapfrog Reading on the last day. How did that one turn out then? Forest, wow, smashed hole four one and Reading drew with the Oh no, okay, Reading have still got a game to play. Right. Well, Hull need to win then. Otherwise we do play Reading. It's that's the tenth of May. Okay, so let's just progress a couple of days then. So we've got Forest, okay, so I'm guessing Reading lost then. Can we change this? So we have got for two years in a row we've got Forest in the playoffs. So Reading did lose then on the final day. They did, 1-0. Okay, so this is how the table finishes then. Sheffield United champions. Oh, it could have been us. It could have been us. We ended up losing 12 games, actually. That's pretty bad, to be honest. But Sheffield United top, two points in front of Fulham. Fulham, Fulham beat them on the final day as well. So there your top two going straight back up. Birmingham in third. Us in fourth, 80 points this season, conceded the fewest goals of any team and almost scored the most, two goals off that. 23 wins, so we won exactly half our games, 11 draws, 12 defeats, a little disappointing. Best goal difference of any team in the league. Forest finished fifth on goal difference ahead of Reading. So it's us versus Forest in the one semi-final, Birmingham versus Reading. In the other, oh, how sweet would it be to beat Reading in the playoff final for me? West Brom finished seventh just outside despite that win against us. Bournemouth in eighth. And then you can just, if any of these teams are your teams, by all means, pause and have a look how you got on. But the bottom three, we already know. Blackpool rock bottom, Derby 23rd, Peterborough 22nd. We'll have a proper roundup of the season, like check on what happened in the other leagues and um, like the Champions League and everything once we've played the playoff. Um, so, yeah, we'll do all of that once the playoffs have been dealt with. As you can see, this is what I was on about all these uh, scout reports. One little name there that. I wouldn't be adverse to bringing in, but we'll uh, we'll see that at a different time. Really. We have got one, Marcel Schmelcher. No, not a 70 rated, a 34. Sorry, Mike. Right, so that is that for the season and for this episode. Next time, both legs of the playoff semi-final against Forest. Away first and then at home. I'm nervous, I'm not going to lie. With how our form's been, you know, very recent games it's been better, but overall, in these past few games, probably 10, 15, it's not been great. So, yeah, it's going to be, um, it's going to be interesting. But, for now, my friends, I leave you with that. Send good vibes and wishes my way for the playoffs. I hope you tune for, in for them. But if you have enjoyed this season, pop a like on there for me, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.